Good morning, everyone. So I promise I won't be up here for very long. Um, I'm just going to say welcome to all of you as attendees. Uh, this has been a amazing turnout for our first conference this year. Uh, it's also the first time in person that we're unmasked. So thank you all for making the trip out here. Appreciate it. How many people are here for the first time? Wow, quite a lot. Please make sure it's not your last conference you come to. Also, you know, get involved with the rest of what OWASP is doing. Uh, I'm sure there'll be lots of talks about what we're doing during the course of the day and course of tomorrow. But thank you, the attendees. You, without you, the conference doesn't happen. I'd also like to thank the board. Uh, there are your board members. Um, all of us except two are here. If you see us somewhere in the hallway, stop us, talk to us, feel free to chat to us. If you have questions about what's going on with OWASP, if you want to know how you can get more involved, these are the faces of the people that you can definitely go to for that. Uh, I want to thank the staff. Um, there are a number of staff members here. I see at least one, but then it gets very bright and shiny in the back there, so I have no idea. Um, so Kelly, Lauren, and Harold are all here. The other three are unfortunately unable to make it. Again, if you want to know about the running of the foundation, if you want to chat to somebody who's involved and this is part of their life, their job, uh, feel free to chat to them, especially Harold. Yes. <laughs> then I'd like to thank our trainers. Um, as you know, and as the slide that was up before my slides went up showed, there are two days of training in advance of the conference. Uh, we do this every year, and it's, and it's an opportunity to get training from some of the best people in the business. Like, genuinely, the training at OWASP events is, as far as I'm concerned, the best you can get as far as AppSec is concerned. And I want to thank this, the trainers who come out here and do that for us. Um, then our speakers. The next two days, you're going to see a lot of speakers talking about the things that they're passionate about. Um, the call for papers is opened fairly early on in the year. And we go through a fairly rigorous process to select the speakers. And you're going to hear from some of the best people talking about subjects that are very important, very keen, very near and dear to us. I'd also like to thank the volunteers. Um, you'll see them wandering around. They'll be running cameras. They'll be helping you find where you need to be. And they'll be potentially carrying cameras. Um, thank you to the volunteers because without them, this event becomes really hard to run. Uh, they do so much work. They do so much to help make things smooth for you. And if you have any questions and you see a volunteer, they do have very obvious lanyards, uh, bright yellow, I believe. Um, so if you see someone with a, a yellow lanyard, you can probably ask them for help. Then our keynote speakers, we have four, um, and they seem to have congregated in this area, which is good. They will all be introduced by a board member. Uh, Avi will come up just now and introduce you to Kim uh, before she starts talking. But we're very grateful to have them here, the, these experts in their fields. Also, like to thank our sponsors. Um, without your sponsorship, it's impossible to run this conference. So if you want to thank our sponsors, be sure to go down to the exhibition center, the exhibition hall, and chat to them. See what they're doing, see what they're offering. Everyone who's a sponsor at OWASP is doing it because they want to help this community get better. And I'm sure you'll see things that they've been doing, like there were some drinks last night, and there'll be stuff happening during the course of the day and tomorrow as well. And then, it is my pleasure to announce some new lifetime, distinguished lifetime members. Uh, individuals who, because of the work that they've done for the foundation, are being granted an honor. And there are four that we're going to be uh, giving out today. Um, those four members are the three members of the ZAP team for over a decade of work working on ZAP. One of the most well-known projects that OWASP has and one of the most well-used projects, well, security projects on the internet. Um, and Jim Manico for all of his hard work and efforts, uh, all the training he's done, all, this, all the uh, uh, funding he's been, fundraising he's been able to do for the foundation. Uh, he's been a real uh, champion for us. There is only one member of this distinguished group here, and I believe he is actually here. Simon, where are you? Thank you very much, Simon. Thank you very much. Cool. 
Okay, I didn't expect this. Um, thank you all very much. Um, yeah, I am a project leader and a bit of a troublemaker, as some of you may have heard. <laughs> uh, it is all done with the best intention, but a huge thank you from the rest of the Zap team. Um, Ricardo and Rick are absolutely key. Some people seem to think that Zap is my project. It is not. It has never been my project. It is the work of everybody who contributes. These three guys have been, you know, the team has been with me for a long time now, but everybody's contributed to Zap. Um, absolutely has helped and that you know just things like liking the repo and you know um, giving us feedback and making suggestions and just telling us that you use it all these things really help but especially if you actually you know help with documentation code changes uh, it's really appreciated so thank you all very much Thanks, Aaron. We, we will get the rest of the team and Jim their uh, physical awards as well um, and then, uh, Global AppSec DC, the next conference. Uh, you've been to this one. You're going to love this one. If you can convince people to get you across the pond to the US, or if you're on that side of the pond to begin with, uh, we'll be in uh, DC October 30th to November 3rd. Uh, the big difference with DC versus here is normally it's training up front and then uh, the uh, speak talks at the, the actual conference proper at the end. Uh, this time around, it'll be the other way around. So the training will happen after the conference. So if you are going to the training, make sure that you stick around for that. It is also over a, a holiday, like we started this year with this app tip being uh, a, the one of love. The other one is going to be the horror one because we're going to be doing it over Halloween. Thank you very much, everyone. Enjoy the conference.